days like a perfect night. Hey guys, so I saw a few moms do this video, um, and I think I'm going to be doing the What's in Cadence toy box video because um, it kind of gives like other moms an idea of new toys if they're looking for new toys with their kids. And I saw some of these videos and it gave me new ideas for toys that I could get Caden that he would enjoy and stuff. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you what um, Caden has a massive amount of toys. And now I understand why people have toy rooms. Sorry if I sound stuffed up because I am uh, getting over a cold. But, um, yeah, so I think when we move, we're moving in like a month or two, I think I'm going to make one of the rooms like a playroom for Kanan, because uh, he has way too many toys and they're like taking over our living room right now. So back here next to our couch and between the chair and the couch um, is like Kanan's main toy spot. Um, I got this, I think I got it off Amazon if I remember correctly, for like $50 and it's so nice. I love these cubby holes and then you can buy the bins that are in them. So this is like his main toy spot. Um, he has his little Ryder toy that he doesn't use much. Um, but I'm probably going to be saving most of his toys for our next kid anyways. So we don't have to buy a bunch of new ones. But yeah, he has his little ride on car. His little pop mower thing. Then he has this little um, Fisher Price bird bath thing that he loves. And then it has like little shapes that they pull out. I got this used actually and it's in perfect condition. He loves that. He loves, and then you can push on the birds and they say different stuff. Um, and then in his whole little cubby thing, I try and keep it as organized as possible, but he has a lot of random toys, so sometimes that's kind of hard. Uh, but in this little bucket, we actually got, this was one of his bath buckets that we got from the hospital, and I wrote toys on it and drew some little buggies and giraffe on it and stuff. So I use that down here. Uh, this is just all his blocks right here, and then this is just his little shape thing. That's all that's in there. And then here's some little robot puzzles that Jake got him. There's like, this is like a first puzzle. And then they just get more difficult. Like here's more. And then these ones have like two pieces on them. So yeah, there's some little puzzles right there that he loves. He doesn't really know. Oops. He doesn't really use them, but he likes to take them out and make a mess. So um, yeah. And then right here, this is totally random toys. Um, he's got his little piano bus. We need to go buy batteries because half his toys don't have any batteries in them. But he loved this thing. I brought this with us on vacation. And he played with it most of the time in the car. Then he has his little bug catcher thing. He has like a plastic dinosaur, a plastic bug, and then some tweezers in there. There's a magnifying glass. He loves to play with that. And then his little... Baby Einstein drums that we paid like $20 for and he doesn't even play with them. Um, that's like one of the toys that actually does have batteries but he doesn't play with it. And then in this cubby we just have Cookie Monster which also doesn't have batteries. Um, you put, you feed him cookies and then they go into his backpack. The other two are somewhere else because it comes with three cookies. And then we got some books, his feel and touch books, his hat book, and then the shark coloring book. But we got this when we went to the aquarium in Seattle. And this is where the crayons went. Um, he got the thing open and then Gracie chewed them up. So we're going to have to put some new batteries, or not batteries, put some new crayons in there. But this is a really awesome book. You can draw on it with crayons and then it wipes clean with like a wet washcloth or something. Here's a coloring book back here that he does not use. Um, random cup that he plays with. And then we got these frisbees at a restaurant when we went to Oregon. Well, oh, it's cracked. But they served the food at these, so which was kind of cool. So we saved those. That's what the crayons were in. And then up here is his bee drum set that he absolutely loves. Love that brand of toys. In this cubby we have his little bus. We brought this with us to to um, Portland and he loved this, but the batteries are dead in this too. But he loves that toy. And then this, the batteries are dying, but he still loves to play with this. He likes putting the shapes in the right spots. 
And then this thing, since the batteries are dying, it'll just sit there and repeat itself. And yeah, so we gotta get new batteries for that. And this is another one of his favorite toys. It's like a little baby Einstein musical thing. I don't really know what it's called, but um, it just lights up. And then you squeeze the buttons on the inside. And it plays music. Yellow. Or it'll tell you the colors. And yeah, so he loves that. Okay, what's in here? This is his random toy bin. I like totally random stuff. Um, he's got his remote. His remote there. He's got all his plastic dinosaurs. Um, his little books that he had when he was a baby. He's got. Under his play mat, he's got toys that were there. He's got plenty of plastic ducks in here, rattles, little car, uh, his dragonfly when that was on his used to be on his car seat. This that was used to be on his high chair. Just like all just random, random toys that don't really have a specific spot. And then up here he has his elephant thing. And he loves that. He likes to put his face above here and have it like blow his hair. It's so funny. Or he'll put his ear next to there and have it like blow into his ear. And then here's his little Fisher Price star stacker toy. And his Tonka truck, which he loves because this thing moves on its own. And then down here, um, he has this whole basket of toys, or not basket of toys, basket of food that I just got him, but he doesn't play with it that much. I thought he would like it more because, it does not go there, because he plays with the food at his daycare, but he didn't really like it that much, so. And then his absolute favorite toy is his toolbox, like, whenever we bring him down here in the morning, he'll just carry his toolbox to us to have us open it. And he loves this. That's going to be the next thing we get him is a big um, tool bench. little plastic tool bench. Then he has this play table up here. You stick the balls in there. This is the Bright Starts brand. And we got him this for Christmas last year. And he loves that. And then his little stuffed puff. We got him an organ as well. And he's got a ball down here that he likes to play with. And then we recently got him this, but he's not that interested in it. I think this is more of like a younger child's toy. Um, it's got, this is the also the B brand. It's a Busy Zoo play cube thing. It's got letters right here that you can turn. It's got these that you roll up. And then like just this little whole zoo thing. Kind of like stuff you see at, um a pediatrician's office or something so got him that and then over here we just got him this if you follow me on Instagram you've seen this already but it's this big ball t ball pit tunnel tent thing um, it didn't come with very many balls that's all the balls that it came with minus that yellow one right there um, so yeah there's all the balls and it has this cute little tunnel that goes into the tent over here and he loves this tent. I didn't think he'd like that much. I was kind of on the fence of getting it for him because we have this other tent right here but that one just falls over all the time so we're probably gonna get rid of that because he doesn't really play with it so that's why I was kind of skeptical of getting him this one but he actually loves it. Um, and then right here we have his little chair. I don't know if you consider that a toy but he loves sitting in this chair. It was in here before I filmed the video. I took it out. And then he has his little uh, Lightning McQueen cars four wheeler that he doesn't really play with. He more like just stands on it. He doesn't really push the button and ride it around. But yeah, so that's all the toys that he has down here. And then when he wakes up, I will show you the toys that he has upstairs in his room. Hey guys, so Kate just woke up, so I'm gonna go get him and let me show you the rest of his toys. Are you talking? <gasps> Did that make a noise? <gasps> up. <gasps> up? You want out? You want out? Say yep. Okay. Come here. Should we show up your toys? Should we show up your toys? Say yep. Say yep. 
Okay, come here. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Way to wipe your nose. Okay. So you gonna show them your toys? So all here's another uh, cubicle thing that we got. I don't remember if we got this one at Target or Amazon. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but not all of this is toys. Uh, the top row is not toys at all. Like, none of those bins have toys in them. It's just these. That bottom left one as well doesn't have toys in it. It's just these five right here. Um, we don't keep a lot of toys up here because he's not usually up here because we have uh, stairs. So we're usually just downstairs. Um, just in this one, we have this. Um, this was connected to his old high chair. We just kept it. Um, and stuck it in here. He plays with it sometimes, but not a lot. Um, then down here is like the other one upstairs. It's just like random toys. He's got his bunny from Easter. There's just like stuffed animals, toys he had when he was a baby. Um, some more plastic dinosaurs, rattles. Um, this thing was on his play mat, this cat. Stuffed animals, and then we have this thing in here that uh, we're supposed to put our phones or iPods in, but we don't have, I don't have my iPhone anymore, and Jake has the iPhone 5, which doesn't fit in there, so we can kind of get rid of this, but, what's that? Eh. He never really plays with that anyways. So let's put that away, and then his absolute favorite cubby hole out of any of them is this one, his books. Um, it's kind of pointless even organizing the books, like, I can be OCD about, like, having his toys organized and stuff, but he tears his books out, like, five times a day. He, uh, just likes to sit down and read all of his books, like, whenever he's up here, so I kind of don't even try to organize them, unless it's, like, at night, and sometimes I will, but, yeah, that is his favorite shelf. We do need to go get him more books because me and Jake are getting tired of reading him the same ones over and over every single night. Because we read him like three to five books a night and he doesn't have that many books. So and this is his recent favorite book. He loves his animals book and going over the sounds. And what's really funny about this book is right when we get to, where is it? think it's this one right we'll read like this whole part of the book right here but right when we get to koala he always gives the koala a kiss and sometimes he'll give the spider a kiss but he always kisses the koala it's so funny like we'll read parrot ladybug then right when we get to koala he'll kiss the koala can you give him a kiss can you give the hair uh, his mega blocks legos which he doesn't play with very much and then jake shoved his puzzle back here for some reason. This has another little wooden puzzle that we got him at Babies R Us. And then right here, he has his little bee um, steering wheel car thing that goes. And he just steers through there and then has a horn and stuff. He likes that. That's pretty fun. And then this is just his sock drawer towels. Or no, these are bibs, towels, and then medicine stuff. Then up here he has this little draft that I got him for Christmas. You just put balls in it and then it comes out the feet. And his little piano that he got for his birthday. And then there's more books, older books up here that is just books he won't, he's not interested in. And he won't be interested until he gets older because it's longer text. And then over here we have his little push cart that helped him learn how to walk, which he likes to come over here and play with us usually when he's up here. So we keep that over here by his cloth diapers. And then last, he has his extra saucer that he obviously doesn't sit in anymore. We've tried, but he gets grouchy. Uh, but he likes to come over here and push the car and it makes music and he just plays with it when we're up here. Going to bed and stuff. Oh, and then one more toy is his guitar, his doggy bee guitar, and I don't know why this is all dirty. Yeah, he loves to play with this. The batteries are, well, I thought they were starting to die, but yep, that is all for his toys.
I shouldn't say all because that he has so many toys, it's ridiculous. So I really want to get him a playroom so he can have a specific spot for all his toys so he's not taking over our living room. Not that I mind it, but it'd be nice to have more space in there. Um, <coughs> dear monkey face. So my um, camera just ran out of memory, but yeah, that is all for his what's in his toy box video. And yeah, we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Keep love and kiss. Go. Good job. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.